hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make yogurt starter or yogurt culture from scratch right in your kitchen and all you need is some powdered milk and some lemon cut don't worry all the ingredients will be listed in the description box below it would also be listed with accurate measurements on how i achieved it first thing you want to do is pour your powdered milk into a measuring cup or a bowl and then proceed to add boiled hot water into it and i'm just using two cups of water to get me 500 grams of milk now you do not want to make so much because you you're going to have to remake from this batch another batch so that it reduces the acidity of the lemon and the sour taste that comes from the lemon also now in my previous video i showed you how to make this same culture using this yogurt starter the yogurt starter sachet the store-bought one and in that video i just showed how to use that starter while in this video i'm showing you how to make the starter from scratch okay so whichever one you feel more comfortable with if you like to try both out that would also be nice and let me know which one you think was easier anyway after my milk had cooled down a little bit i proceeded to straining it again just to remove that clot of milk from the top and then added about three slices of lemon into the milk i covered this up with several towels and you know what this does already this is just to keep the milk warm while the incubation period for the fermentation um per process happens i don't know how to explain it but yeah you get it anyways i proceeded to tie this in several nylon because when i shot this video the weather wasn't so hot so this nylon is just to create more friction for the warmth so that it doesn't get cold and then i let this sit for 12 hours after 12 hours i am opening it now and i want to show you how to know that you got the starter because i made some before this and they did not turn out so well that's what took so long for this video to come up because i kept trying and trying and trying till i got it right now guys i want you to observe closely how the yogurt looks if you see the jiggle it looks like yogurt already right so this is the look you want to go for now the ones i made previously i don't know why i didn't record them i should have this the milk and the water separated from each other i do not know why that happened but this is what you want it to look like this is how bright it looks anyway i put this in my fridge just so that i can stop the fermentation process till i'm ready to use it again it thickened up a bit after like about two hours and now i diluted some more milk and this is double the quantity that i used in making the starter double the quantity because i want to share this one into my home drinking grief yogurt and then more that i would keep for starter to keep making more yogurt now imagine that from just this one small bowl of lemon and milk we're going to make so much yogurt from it that like it's it's just a process it keeps going there is no amount of store bought yogurt that can replace this the quantity the volume everything in together anyways you saw what i just did i whisk i added some milk to thin out the culture just so that it is not lumpy into the milk and i still am mixing it properly just to make sure that everything incorporates well and then i proceeded to cover this mind you that you should use an airtight container when making yogurt i think that's one step people don't talk about so much but it's very 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 important that you use an airtight container anytime you're making yogurt because you do not want air entering your yogurt anyway same process i incubated this for 12 hours and after 12 hours now i am opening it up so that you see what the second um, incubation looks like now i poured in all our starter into this so that is quite a lot for the quantity of milk but because we made this starter from scratch it is necessary that we get the best and highest quality <laughs> should i say bacteria or the highest quality um yogurt we can from this i proceeded to strain this yogurt just the step further to take it from yogurt to greek yogurt as you know 
Greek yogurt simply means strained yogurt. While if you want drinking yogurt, you can leave it exactly like this. And all you need to do is blend it, add some sweetening, whether sugar or honey, and your yogurt is ready to go. Now look at how luscious. Like it looks so good. I can't even explain. This camera is not even doing it justice. But guys, you need to try it out. Like my yogurt recipe still stands undefeated. Undefeated if you check out my greek yogurt video i promise you that there's no store bought greek yogurt that you buy that will be as thick as that greek yogurt if you ever decide to make it in your house what did i just say if you ever decide to make it in your house anyway don't forget that i'm always here to help you through your yogurt process you can always chat me up on instagram the link to my instagram would be on in the description box below also don't forget that all the ingredients are listed in the description box with measurements on how to achieve this i don't know if i have strength to interpret everything i just said but i will try my best to be available to reply to all your questions and i also want you guys to let me know if you'd like to see a sit down video on all the details regarding greek yogurt in fact i'll be answering all your questions regarding how to make yogurt and greek yogurt what to do and what not to do so comment your questions below so that you see it in my next video and um don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel guys i see plenty watches but i'm not getting subscribers so guys don't forget hit the subscribe button and if you've been watching if you're a returning viewer also check to make sure that you are subscribed because you can be watching and not actually subscribe so guys i can't wait to see you in my next video and i hope you try out this recipe you can use this to produce more and more Greek yogurt and I'll see you next time. Bye!